I'm Walter Lewin. I will be your lecturer this term. In physics, we explore the very small to the very large. The very small is a small fraction of a proton, and the very large is the universe itself. They span 45 orders of magnitude, a one with 45 zeros. To express measurements quantitatively, we have to introduce units. And we introduce for the unit of length, the meter, for the unit of time, the second, and for the unit of mass, the kilogram. And you can read in your book how these are defined and how the definition evolved historically. Now, there are many derived units which we use in our daily life for convenience, and some are tailored towards specific fields. We have uh, centimeters, we have millimeters, kilometers, we have inches, feet, miles. Astronomers even use the astronomical unit, which is the mean distance between the Earth and the Sun, and they use light years, which is the distance that light travels in one year. We have milliseconds, we have microseconds, we have days, weeks, hours, centuries, months, all derived units. For the mass, we have milligrams, we have pounds, we have metric tons. So lots of derived units exist. Not all of them are very easy to work with. I find it extremely difficult to work with inches and feet. It's an extremely uncivilized system. I don't mean to insult you, but think about it. Twelve inches in a foot, three feet in a yard, that drives you nuts. I work almost exclusively decimal, and I hope you will do the same during this course, but we may make some exceptions. I will now first show you a movie which is called The Powers of Ten. It covers forty orders of magnitude. It was originally conceived by a Dutchman named Kees Boeken in the early fifties. This is the second generation movie, and you will hear the voice of Professor Morrison, who is a professor at MIT. The powers of ten, forty orders of magnitude. There we go. <laughs> 